beautiful evening. So guys, if you've been following our last couple videos, you will see that we are now Jayco brand ambassadors. Um, we met up with more ride. We did a lot of different things while we was in Indiana. So now we are back here in Florida, um, Davenport, um, Orlando area. And guys, this is like a little bittersweet moment for us. We are about to start packing up our RV and we have already started. So we got all our food already packed. Ashanti cook, so she's cooking, so that's where it is. We're about to start packing this RV up. And this RV here, um, we had it for about two years. And even though we like all the space that it provided for us, look at all this room. I know, with, with, with the new Jayco that we're getting, we don't have this much space. But we're we gonna be able to do space. more. No, we have a bigger kitchen. Yeah, I didn't have. But that's a big kitchen. That's somewhat like the kitchen you're gonna have. Okay. You don't think? Look, uh, just just imagine a um, cabinet coming this way. Same kitchen. Anyways, look what Shanti's making. Yep. So anyway, we started packing. We <laughs> pretty much cleared out one closet. We then cleared out our back bedroom. Our bathroom is next, and. Again we allowed to we lot we allowed ourselves to fill up a camper that had way too much stuff in it so yeah and i don't know how, how we did it with this that. i don't know how we did it with this camper yeah guys because we this really, camper here barely got room i mean oh, but I we have no storage had a whole lot of storage huh i thought you just said i had a whole lot of storage no i didn't say you had a lot of storage i said the kitchen i said as far as our our main room and the, and the seismic is yep. like one little arrow, narrow path but you got to think about it it's only us two in the rv yes i know that's a huge unit but it's just only us two but anyway we're packing it up because the unit has been shipped yes. here in florida and yes. it's currently sitting at the dealership right now waiting for us to pick it up waiting for us to pick it up but we're so behind mm -hmm. we got to get packed up yep. So that's what we're working on for the next couple of days. And guys, we're gonna be showing you all what we're going through. And you gonna come. Okay, I don't need you beat me saying that. Don't, <laughs> hey, don't try to steal my word. Come up with your own word, buddy. Come up, with your own, come up with your own word. Alrighty, guys. Anyway, guys, um, welcome to the vlog. Yes, ma'am. It's not hot? No, because you got to turn the blower on. I had it on. No, the blower wasn't on. I never turned it off. Did you come out here and turn the it off? The blower wasn't on. Okay. So, well, let's so try I, it like, I like my meat to sizzle when I put it down there. I'm going to hear, you're going to hear what I mean by sizzling, okay? All right. All right. But, but anyway, guys, today, Shanti and I are teaming up. We're making uh, <laughs> chicken fettuccino. And you're gonna see it made the bandit way. Um, that's true. Let's, let's, we are one. Let's show how we're making this. We already got the noodles going. So we got the broccoli, we got the chicken, we got the tomatoes. We cook it under extreme conditions with boxes and everything. We still gotta eat. Cause we're gonna need all the strength for tomorrow because we're gonna really get into packing because it's countdown it's countdown t minus what three days shanti yep three days left yeah three days left three days left three days left and we need just we need that amount of time to get this rv together and we need that amount of time to get this rv together <laughs> It's a parody here or something, guys. <laughs> Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. Alexa, stop. Oh, that's her name. 
<laughs> Ooh. You hear that sizzle? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need, baby. Some sizzling. So guys, we have been enjoying this Master Bill Grill. Yes, we have. And we're not being sponsored by them. Nope, we're not. Um but this this grill right here, this Master Bill. It's, it's the a truth. Bad mamma jamma. It's the truth. Yeah. Yep. I love it. Beautiful evening. So what I did do for my vegetables right here I have mushrooms butter broccoli tomatoes and I am cooking it for no more than three minutes but I made sure that my broccoli was completely completely defrosted I would suggest that you use frozen broccolinis or frozen broccoli cuts so this is the final look for the chicken I do make sure it um, meets the standard for the temperature inside um, I will have to tell you this I do not like any type of or any parts of my chicken slimy so I will definitely cook it a little bit longer I always get ahead of myself and we just start enjoying the food that you make when you're camping with any chef that is camping I hope you can recognize what I am saying because I went ahead and I had to make a whole new plate literally a whole new plate it was devoured in many many minutes so guys it's day two of getting everything out of the RV and getting this RV ready to be sold as soon as we give it to them. So let me show you what I did. I had to take our washer and dryer out. So anytime I take the washer and dryer out, this is our second time doing it. So that's why I say anytime. <laughs> it's cause we, we didn't took it out so many times. So anytime I do it, I have to take our dresser apart. I had to completely dismantle it. I had to take this off. I'm putting everything back together now, but I had to take the doors off, the hinges off. I even had to take the bedroom door off as well, as well as the, the molding. So the bedroom door is still off, so I'm about to put that back on. And I gotta put all this stuff here back together again. But the washer is gone. Um, as you can see, we got our drawers on the bed so these drawers gotta go back in but everything in the drawers gotta come out so this is one of the things that when you're purchasing a rig with a washer and dryer in the bedroom these are the things that you have to go through and just think about this also not only do some rigs have have it where you have to go through the bedroom but then the bedroom could possibly have a bathroom beyond the bedroom so you're doing this possibly this door thing possibly to the bathroom so unless you have French doors that open up to your bedroom I meant to your bathroom so so guys um, the reason why the dealership charge you so much money to bring your washer and dryer into your unit because you don't know what goes into bringing a washer and dryer in some stuff has to be taken apart and reassembled so I, I think our quote was twelve hundred dollars to install this washer and dryer in here we went out and bought our own washer and dryer so it's twelve hundred dollars but after I got the, 
I went through the hard part when I first put it in. I went through a part, a learning phase rather, where when I tried to get it in the room, it was no way to get it into that. I didn't take nothing apart. So I tried to pick it up and just come in side work. That wasn't working. I tried everything. So we eventually got to a point where I said, I gotta take, I gotta take the washer back off, set the washer back into the main room. So you guys, we wanted to keep our washer and dryer because it is an LG. The LG has done us well. We can use our phone to do customized washing. And this is typically not your standard RV washer and dryer. So yes. We like the LG product and the product has done as well. We have had a couple of issues with it, but Talmadge knows how to fix those issues. A lot of time our pump goes out and by him already knowing how to fix it, it's an easy fix. We always keep one on deck just in the event it may go out. And that's why we are taking it with us. guys the day have finally arrived where we go and pick up our new unit so guys this is what it looked like as you can see we don't have much room to do pretty much nothing in this rv um everything got to go to the middle of the floor <sighs> dishes need to be washed yeah still got a lot of stuff back here to pack up and we got to be at this dealer in less than an hour and a half. So we gotta get going. This is my last time hooking up to Smokey. It been real, Smokey. It been real. I still remember when I named you. And Shanti tried to take, take the credit for it. We did a lot together. A lot of great memories you've made with this RV, guys. But now, it's time for a new chapter. It's time for a new chapter, and we are so excited about it. Because now, we get to bring our toys with us. If the, when the bandits bring their toys with them, the bandits have a ball. And you're going to see that for yourself. Guys, we are off. Just like that. Guys, we made it. We made it. We are here. And as you can see, look at that big, that big beauty over there. That's a big beauty right there, guys. Look at her. Today is the day. It's the day. You're now an owner. Yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, we would have moved. They got it. Look how big that thing is compared to this. Wow. <laughs> hey. I could have pulled up easy. We're used to this. We have a small lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Look like I did this a couple times anyway, so. <laughs> This just happens to be a really big fish. <laughs> it is, isn't it? And we didn't know it was this big until we actually let, laid eyes well, on it. Day, you don't really realize how big it is until you start moving. Yeah. I can always back up. Oh, you got it. like to take this opportunity to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video and you guys let me tell you a little bit about them they are an exceptional company that is American made yes they make the product right here in the good USA and they make a luxurious RV mattress just for you and I I'm an RVer if you're an RVer and if you're wanting to replace your mattress that you got with that beautiful rig that you just bought, go check them out at www.brooklynbedding.com. You're going to find many, many options for you. So you're going to have to decide, are you going to want a firm mattress or you're going to want something that's a little bit more softer. You will get to also be able to pick many different accessories to go with your Brooklyn bedding. Not only do they make RV mattresses for the RV, but they also make them for the home. And you guys, they give out discounts. So if you are in the military, if you are a first responder, if you are a medical provider, college student, go check them out. And also they ship in the USA, you get a 10 year also warranty on your mattress that you purchase. Can't beat that, you guys. So, if interested, again, go check them out and look at all the beautiful accessories you can get. And back to the show, you guys. And we'll, we'll catch waves of sunlight yep. in now. Perfect. You guys, we are here with our. Uh, I, I would have to say our our he wasn't our salesman because basically <laughs> he was he was the man that made it happen though right absolutely so can you introduce yourself real quick yeah and... I'm Tyler Irvin here at Campers Inn RV of Leesburg this is the beautiful seismic that we have ordered for the Adventure Bandits uh, we're about to go through a walkthrough with our technician Jody here uh, it's been really exciting Hi, we had to wait a little bit of time to get the RV in but it's beautiful we're excited to have you guys we appreciate you coming out and if they want to find you, they can uh, look you up and what's your telephone number and you guys yep. are known for carrying what? So we carry Jayco only on the towable side. We're really known for motorized, uh, but we do carry Jayco and that's what we're really going to focus on today. Most people know us from the villages, but we are here in Fruitland Park, Florida. Our phone number is 352-787-7744. Thank you. We are ready to go. We're going to start right over at the LP tank. Okay. Tank and first, ready to roll. And you have two tanks with your. Uh... Look at the difference. We're going to this big beast here. We're leaving Smokey. Sorry, Smokey. It was it was all Ashanti's idea. I didn't want to do it, but she taught me into it, and she always say happy life. Happy wife. Uh 
Oh, you're all right. <laughs> Where are we going to? <laughs> yeah, move them again. Right here. Trash bags. We both are tired already. Shanti already started decorating. That look good together. So that yellow look good. I do want to say this. Shout out to Anthony and Danya from Rolling with the Revs. They got this for us. It's like they had inside information. Information, guys. But they they, they gave this to us at the Tampa show. Yeah, at the Tampa show early this January. Yeah. So uh, maybe they talked this rig that. into yeah. existence for us. So yeah. thank you, Danya and Anthony. Let's check it out. Living Our Grace. Yep. Adventure Bandits. Talmage and Ashanti. Yeah. Yep. And that's where we'll be. Right by a campfire. Yep. But where's our, where's our deck at, guys? What happened to the deck? <laughs> the party deck. You can't have a seismic without the party deck. All right. But thank you, guys. Appreciate it. They knew. They they wanted to get that color scheme going. Yeah. So appreciate you guys. Truly, yeah. truly do. That is gonna look good outside. Yes. Yeah. And it has a stamp. So appreciate you guys again. Yeah. Thank you for our first RV warming gift. Yes. <laughs> and I had to take a break. It was so hot. Guys, it looks like we had a lot of stuff in that other RV. But that other RV is much smaller than this. We got a lot of cabinet spaces, as you can see, to put all that stuff that Shanti had in there. I don't know why I said we, I mean her. She gone right now, so I can say that. Let me get back to work. All right, you guys. Well, this is it. We are saying goodbye to Smokey. Everything is done. It's official. We had a lot of fun with you. I'm not going to forget you. You had been through some things. And now, we get. We got our new adventure to start. Finally made it to our location and it was we don't know what we're doing it was challenging it was a lot I mean our last unit was 38 feet a travel trailer which is a travel trailer yeah this is 46 feet and it's a toy hauler toy hauler which make a huge difference I mean we got stuck on a couple streets where we had to back up we had a whole group of people come out and help us yeah so shout out to you guys yes um, so now that we're in the unit 
we're, we're trying, trying to, to figure out how to work the lights. Yeah, so you got this so. Jake, Jake man over here. And so, okay, wait, here we go. Lights here. So. What, what is it called? Uh, so we need to turn off the garage. So we want the garage lights. No, off. that's cargo. Is that did it go out? Yeah. Oh, hold on. See. Watch this, Jayco. Cargo lights. It came on. Okay. Yep, Jayco. Cargo lights. Okay. Jayco. Cargo lights. No, Jayco, turn on living room lights. You don't say that, Shanti. See? And so the cargo lights are off still. Cause Jayco, they're on. So guys, <laughs> that's our last RV back here. All that, we just threw it all back here. Because we gotta do cabinet liners and everything. We put nothing up here. I guess that's the, hey, that, Hey, that's the person having a um, toy hauler. 